Oh, hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Red Clay Music Foundry. Thank you so much for coming out this evening. I wish it wasn't the situation where I could thank you individually, but I guess I can. So thank you, and 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 thank you. If you've never been here before, special welcome to you. Um, there's a little couple of weird things about this room. There's a, uh, there's a bar out in the lobby, and we encourage you to drink. That's the first thing we encourage. And we also encourage you to not drive after you drink. Uber and Lyft will pick you up right at our front door. So uh, please consider that. There's two bathrooms in the lobby, and there's, there's, uh, there's only one uh, toilet per room. It's unisex, and you queue up in front of the bar and wait your turn for one of those doors to open. Um, or you can all go in together. We don't care. We're not making a political, a religious, or a social statement. It's just that there's one potty per room, so that's how it works. Uh, also, uh, it's, uh, it's a good time to say that uh, we encourage you to visit the uh, merch table in the lobby. It's not going to piss straight enough if y'all buy everything out there tonight and take it home with you because he can get some more. Uh, so he'll be okay with that. That would be wonderful. And this is also an appropriate time to say hello to anybody watching out there in the World Wide Web uh, on EOP Live on YouTube. Thank you for joining in. If you'll notice, there's a bar at the top. I think it's blue, and it says tip jar. And that's not going to piss straight off if y'all fill that up tonight either. So uh, please consider that, and we thank you in advance for your generosity Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, now, <clears throat> I've only met Drayton and Emily today, uh, but Will and I have been listening to his stuff, and we just love it. We think it's great, and we're very excited that he's playing here. We'd be more excited for him, especially, if, if when he comes back, if each one of you bring about 35 or 40 people with you. That would be great. That would be really, really, really cool. So, uh, but he's going to play for you tonight. We're going to just do one set of music. We're going to go straight through, no intermission. But feel free to go to the bar and get you something to bring back in here if you want to. That would be okay because you can hear it in the lobby. And uh, just be careful if you use these center aisles because they're steps. And uh, we, we love songs and songwriters and we hate acrobatics. So please don't go funky on the steps. That would be good. That would be great if you didn't do that. So, but thanks again for coming. Really appreciate it. Uh, it's been a weird year and a half, and it looks like it's going to be another weird year and a half. So <laughs> we'll just figure it out and keep on going as long as we can. But I need you to do me a favor right now, you folks that are in the room. If you can, I need you to sound like you're about a thousand people and give a nice welcome to Drayton Farley. How's everyone doing? It's good to be here. This is, uh, other than some open mics back in the day, this is the first time I've ever played in Georgia. So I'm excited, excited to be here for this one. I'm gonna start the night off. This is a, this is a song I wrote, uh, loosely inspired by the town I'm from. This one's called The Reaper. I grew up in an old coal mine town The people get high and they never come back down It's a lot of old ghosts call this place home There ain't no time to try to ride no Wasn't long till I got my fill for the pills. A little here and there to help with the way I feel. Now I can't slow it down and I don't sleep. And I've been feeling partial to the company I keep. 
Thank you guys. Next song, uh, it's a song I wrote, it's called Georgia. Away from all she's so 
far found and the place her seed was sown. She's got dreams of big city lights. She's got dreams of big town nights. She's got dreams of feeling all right. And it's all coming back around. So keep on working, Georgia. Just keep on pulling through. Just keep on doing all you can. It's all that you can do. Keep on. Stacking that money up, it's all that you can do. Just keep on stacking that money up, it's all that you can do. Thank you. I never drink enough water before I play. That's why I have like three bottles over here. Seriously, guys, uh, very nice to be here tonight. So thank uh, each and every one of you for coming out. I know there's something going on tonight. Something about a game or something. Uh, this next song is called Shiner.
Thank you, guys. Thank y'all. I'm not a love song writer, but that's about the closest one I've got to a love song. Usually I write songs about just being depressed and stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to do that thing where I just write sad country songs. But every now and then you kind of, you know, can't be heavy all the time. But I have a tendency of making songs sound heavy anyways. Like, I've written happy songs, and they sound sad as shit. I think it's the chords. I use a lot of minor chords, so comes with the job. So every song I've played so far is, uh, they're all released. They're on the internet. You can go find them. Uh, this next song I have not released yet. And it's about this one time I went to a strip club in New Orleans. It's called Devils and Nola. i 
begging with her body for a dollar half collapsed to her knees her wicked eyes were hollow and her silver tongue glistened when she'd speak her words from a language that I'd Heard in my anguishing dream While the men with their money They were finding it funny, I believe They could see it in my eyes All I wanted on that night was to Thank you. I like, I like playing that song. It's a little more upbeat, but it's about a strip club, too. I don't know a whole lot of strip club songs.
That one's called Blue Collar. I wrote that one at night uh, on a assembly line. It was a really fun night. I uh, started thinking about where I was at in life and what I was doing in that moment. Came out with that. Next song uh, I wrote back when I was working for the railroad. I used to travel a lot as a contractor. Oh, thank you, man. So uh, hotel stays and, you know, traveling on the road. You work all day. You go back to an empty hotel room all night. I worked that job when I was like 18, so kind of jumped straight out into a pretty crazy little deal, and uh, which I'm glad I did because gave me a lot uh, of experience kind of really quickly and it gave me a lot of good songs so this one's called I'll Be Home
appreciate that beer too, man. Very, very nice. This next song is uh, one of the newest songs I put out as a single. It's called Chewing on Fire. Thank you guys. Anybody ever heard that one? This 
This next one's a song I wrote. It's one of the oldest songs I've gotten, uh, or that I would have claimed to have written, I guess. I've written a lot of songs, and then, they're, you know, the first probably 50 at least were awful. And you, like, burn the paper and delete all the voice recordings, and you never tell anybody about them. This is one of those that kind of made the cut. It's called Counted Cost. Thank you guys. <clears throat> uh, this next song turned out to be one of the most popular songs that people enjoyed listening to that I've written. It's called Pitch and Fits. So 
guys enjoy that one. It's Pitch and Fits. We'll do another song uh, folks really enjoy. This one's called American Dream. Take a sip of water before I do that. Pitching fits, that's just me like strumming the guitar, trying to break strings, and I'm screaming also. It's like a pitching fit, kind of. It feels good, though. That song resonates with people, and that's uh, one of the best things about writing songs and people listening. This one's American Dream. Begging the ashtray for nickel 
thousand times Writing these songs Trying to wrap my mind Around a bullshit American dream my favorite song to play. I think folks enjoy that one a lot. I think uh, when you write songs, you, you have to start with something to talk about. And a lot of times, you know, you'll write three or four and you're like, damn, I've been, I've been talking about the same thing in the last like four songs. Shitty job or whatever. So I just took some frustrations and invented it through art. And then uh, American Dream came out. Glad you guys enjoy that one. I probably shouldn't play this one live just because I'll screw the guitar up every time, but I'm going to do it anyways. This one's called Stoic Faces. faces, guys. You ever seen a stoic face walking around? My hometown's full of them. I'll do an older song for you guys. I put this out on an EP called Hargrove several years back. Feeling less than pretty with hers. 
Yes. Uh, fun fact, I only tell people at live shows. Uh, Lucinda, I wrote that song first, but the song Georgia that I have is, I wrote that, Georgia is the daughter of Lucinda and her husband that was uh, killed that night. Lucinda was a drunk, husband beat her. She hired a guy at the bar to kill him. So he did, he came there that night and uh, they faked a suicide letter. That was a note. But when I started writing Georgia, I wasn't really sure who I was writing about and I thought about that story and I was like, man, how crazy would it be if there, was, if there had been like a kid at the house that night that had grown up her whole life kind of thinking that that's what happened that night at home, but you know, kind of a big cover up. But anyway, that's the back story between uh, Lucinda and Georgia, fun fact. So I was going to just do originals, and uh, so far every song that I've sung for you guys has been original. But uh, closing the night out, I wanted to do uh, I wanted to do a John Prine song for you guys. And uh, he mentions a place that uh, is uh, in the state I'm from, so this one's called Angel from Montgomery. Mother. My old man is another 
child's grown old. And if dreams were light, thunder were desire, this old house were burnt down a long time ago. So may There's flies in the kitchen I can hear all the buzzing But I ain't done nothing Since I woke up today How the hell can a person Thank you guys. Thanks for coming out tonight. Uh, I'm gonna end it on John Prime. I wanted to do that one. I think I'm gonna make that a staple thing that I do on every show. But uh, seriously guys, thank you so much for uh, coming out. Eddie Owen Presents here in, in Georgia and for listening to me sing all these sad ass songs to you. It means the world. Uh, there's merch outside, there's, there's drinks, so come up and uh, say hey. We'll meet, we'll talk. And, uh, be safe on the way home. Thank you.